My dream is to inspire kids to achieve what they want in life. My husband has waited his whole life. He didn't know that he was gonna be able to do anything like this. This came to him, this epiphany came to him and he realized he could do something athletic. But not only was it athletic, it was as big as it gets. El Cap to the normal climber is um, probably the pinnacle in a lot of people's climbing career, you know? People come from all around the world because it's kind of the proving grounds. No one with more kind of physical challenges has ever even attempted to climb it. You're, you're looking up at you know, almost an unachievable wall to surmount. I've climbed plenty with able-bodied climbers, but it just seems like the disabled guy has to overcome the same obstacles as well as other diverse ones. He's getting about anywhere from two to six inches of pull per pull-up. And if you do the math, that's just inspiring. <laughs> I had met Steve before, but I, had, I was pretty well briefed on his condition. And uh, personally, we just sort of, you know, who is this guy, what's he doing? I put him at 10% success rate, probably 90% failure. A California man is on his way to becoming the first person with cerebral palsy to climb Yosemite's El Capitan. Two or three days into the trip, he looked at Dave and I and said, you know, this is the longest I've been out of my wheelchair ever. You have this road. That's not going to change. I don't care if you're mad about it. I don't care if you're sad about it. You're missing out on life.